Now, as Ghana marks Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's 115th birthday in Inkofo, Channel One News' Akwesi Jainim reports on the devastation of the historically significant River Soublé, located behind Kwame Nkrumah's mausoleum. Once a major tourist attraction, the river has been severely impacted by Galamsey. Residents have expressed concern, calling uh, the pollution of the river a stain on Nkrumah's legacy. Here's more. This is Kwame Nkrumah mausoleum. The first place that Nkrumah was actually uh, buried upon his return into the country after his passing. And today, it is one of the significant mausoleums we have in the country. But I just want to appreciate the level of patronage in terms of tourist attraction, whether from within or outside. So I have uh, one of the uh, supervisors over here to tell me, I mean, a tour guide. Uh, Chief, what's your name? Steven Kando. Tell us a bit about the level of patronage over here and what is actually making people come here. The last time I came here, it was so much deteriorated. I'm seeing some improvement. What, what, what can you say about that? We're having tourists, averagely uh, 1,500 people coming around. But uh, within this year, we have a lot of uh, increase in numbers. And I think it's because of the uh, Nkroma Festival that we have uh, put in so much effort in celebrating it. That is why a lot of people have been coming here. Though we are... Uh, getting to the end of the year, uh, but we've had over 2,000 people and we are still expecting more, even including today. We know that uh, the Nkrumah Mausoleum, which we see behind, I mean, behind us, right behind it also lies the river uh, Suble. Uh, what is the state of it and to what extent is it connected to the history of this very mausoleum? Uh, so this is a river that plays very much important to in the history of Dr. Kamen Nkrumah. But uh, right now, illegal miners have uh, polluted the river and it is very worrying taking people around. And this is uh, taking uh, so much from the history of the Tokamen Kroma as far as uh, the Tokamen Kroma Museum is concerned. I'm exiting from the Nkroma uh, Museum here in, uh, in Kofu, where Nkroma was first buried after he was brought into the country uh, following his passing. And, uh, Right behind the mausoleum is uh, River Suble, a very popular and historic uh, river that we have been told that Nkrumah, when he was a kid, was behind. I mean, the mother was carrying him and he pointed uh, to the mother that uh, the mother had actually stepped on a fish. And uh, later, when the traditionalists uh, got a fish and they did their investigation, it was concluded that uh, what happened shows that Nkrumah was actually going to become a very uh, influential person in Ghana. And true to that, he actually became a president. And so this river simply holds a lot of um, importance and historical significance over here. This very river used to attract a lot of tourists, whoever came to uh, the Nkrumah Museum here in Nkrofo. But today, I'm told because of Galamse activities, the state of the water has been so much, I mean, uh, polluted. A look at it shows a depleting or a dying uh, stream uh, over here, which basically is killing the tourism, I mean, attraction uh, that is associated with this in Chroma Museum. And residents are very much not happy with the depleting or the devastation states of the River Sibley, which holds a lot of, I mean, historical uh, significance to the history of Nkroma. You see where the and <laughs> Why in Tinsuan, who beside myself, would be out beside me, but castle, honey. 
Uncrafo in a cow, one money in pain for one bet to make the saint here in Suena Sa. Say, say, and poor man, men, and the pain will be come was a man that walk one more baby. I yen yen suyo. A bully be war, your friend yellow has only a honey or twenty at the dana room na area, not winning suya. And here come was in posse, one more saying upon the if you fear a bench, so much to be mine. Uncle, you didn't pour by a yard, a be ma. Yenyen suyo, e o peble, le nsuyo mwa ye ni wo mkwa fwa ha. Inti ya mwa chile ye wo nsuyo. Lawyer yao anoche frempon, an enkroma ye sto channel 1 TV news that the pollution of river suble tarnishes the legacy of Dr. Kwame Nkroma and reflect a lack of effective leadership. Now you talk about the river suble and I believe that in some other country it will have been a ritual river, river. you know, like Ganges is in India. You know, in our case, Galamse has destroyed everything. Galamse has destroyed everything in this area. Galamse has destroyed everything in this area. And then the river Souble, at first, people could wash in it, they could drink in it, and they could use it for ritual purposes. What you see here is the level of devastation that has been caused by Galamse activities here at Nkrofu, not far from the Nkrumah's uh, mausoleum, which is the first uh, burial place of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah after he was brought back into the country. And uh, as we celebrate his 115th birthday, this is a legacy that leadership within the Nkrofu uh, community, the chiefs, the political appointees like the DC and the rest can say about Nkrofu and uh, the legacy I'm talking about is the level of devastation to the River Suble, which holds a lot of I mean, historical uh, significance to the man Kwame Nkrumah. As there are a lot of stories that says that he actually uh, played and lived around this, I mean, uh, River Suble. That sh circumstance should have been a tourist attraction, but as we speak, we have serious devastation happening here, right behind Nkrumah's uh, um, Mausoleum, and that is in the river Suble. And a look at here tells you that the devastation or the pollution of the river Suble is chronic. If the cameraman can actually uh, turn closer uh, to the river, and uh, this is what is making the legacy here in Nkrofo when it comes to the man Kwame Nkrumah uh, becomes a bit questionable. It looks as if leadership over here have actually left everything to be to devastate. Apart from the name coming from. Fortunately, one TV news, I'm a Kosejian name. Incredible.